wired communication involves the transfer of data through a cable. There are many types of wired communications. Two of the most prominent ones are USB and Ethernet. Let's take a look at both of them. The USB is one of the most common types of wired connections. It can be used for many different purposes. USBs have gone through many revisions to make sure it is up to date with technology. Ethernet This connects a device to a wired network. You can connect your laptop to your Wi-Fi network through an Ethernet cable. An Ethernet cable loses its quality after about 100 meters. There are many different types of wireless communications. Let's take a look at some of them. Wi-Fi Wi-Fi is found almost everywhere these days. You can use Wi-Fi to connect to a network, which is most probably connected to the internet. Bluetooth Bluetooth only allows devices to connect over a short distance. These are often used to transfer files, but cannot carry as much as Wi-Fi. Bluetooth is often used to listen to music. 3G and 4G this is a mobile broadband connection that provides internet access to mobile device. G stands for generation. At this current time, 5G is the newest generation, which means a higher speed and more availability of signal than the previous generations. Infrared communication. There are a lot of disadvantages when it comes to IR signals. They cannot carry much data, they need a clear line of sight since the signal travels in a straight line and it is affected by sunlight. Therefore, infrared signals are not used for anything big. It's mostly used for co remote control devices. Near field communication. This uses radio frequency identification chips. It is often found in smartphones, travel cards and some payment cards as well. Now let's compare the wired and wireless connections. Wired communication has a small number of cables, so it is cheap. There's a risk of tripping over cables. It is faster than wireless connections. It's, in, it's affected by interference, but very less. It is not portable as it can't go past 100 meters. It can look untidy if not kept properly and it is secure. Wireless connections have no need to buy cables and the router is priced at a medium price. There are no safety risks as the WHS confirmed there's no problem for radiation. Slower than wired. It is affected by interference. It's portable within a certain range. It is tidy and it is easy to intercept. 